What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acres Scuba and Marine and we're headed out to do just a cleanup dive. And we're actually here at the what we call the Lake Acres Scuba Playground. This is our training grounds that we use for all our open water and our rescue courses. We even do a lot of our professional level courses here as well just because there's so much to offer. But what I'm going to do is actually take you on a little dive here and I'm going to show you how we clean up the grounds and what there is to expect anytime that you make a dive here in our lake, especially here on our training grounds. Now we have lines ran to everything. It makes navigation to and from sites a whole lot easier. Plus it gives a visual reference to a diver to help them out with their buoyancy and their trim while underwater. Now the first thing that we're going to come up to is our first junction point which you'll see here shortly and that first junction point is basically a sea dew that is inverted in the water column and there's three ways that you can go once you hit that junction point. Now we're going to follow out the center line first but once we um, get out to the main training area I'll show you how they kind of swing back into this junction point. So here's the first uh, object that you're going to see, the first junction point if you will, it's a sea dew. We call this the catfish house house just because we usually have some pretty large catfish anywhere between 15 and 25 pounds and kind of hanging out down inside it so it's a neat little place to bring divers to. Uh, I, I may or may not actually shoot a few catfish each year off of that uh, sea dew so it's kind of a good grounds for them to create a structure to, to call the fish in and if you looked real close you'll saw there were three lines there going off of the sea dew. We're going to take this center line here which is actually going to take us over to our main uh, training platform, if you will. And I do have this video kind of time-lapsed in certain areas, so if it looks like I'm swimming really, really fast or if the audio is kind of blurred out, that's why. But here's one of our main training platforms. This is our shallow platform. Right now it currently sits in about 20 foot of water. Uh, it depends on the water level if they raise or lower it. But right now it's in about 20 foot. So also another junction point. There's multiple lines coming off. There's a vertical line there, which we'll look at a little bit later on during the dive. And that's where we do some emergency ascent drills and things like that. We've got a basketball court set up here. Uh, we used to have a bowling ball to help shoot hoops with. Unfortunately, someone keeps stealing our bowling ball, so we've actually took it off for the time being. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head off to the uh, right side of the training platform and we're going to go over to one of our satellite dishes. And these are just these old timey satellite dishes, the real large ones, not like the smaller ones we've got nowadays. But it's just an old timey satellite dish. It's another great fish habitat. We usually have several nice sized bass that kind of hang out on it. Uh, but we're going to head over to it. And I'm going to stop here real quick because you'll notice I'm constantly getting hooks and stuff out of the lines. This is just one of the things we come across. We've got a lot of fish here in the lake they like to fish our area um, just because of all the uh, sunken objects that, that are here in the lake creates great structure for fish and so fishermen come in there and they'll get their their hooks and their lures stuck in our lines course but here's the satellite dish this is the first one we've got this is actually one of three that's here in our lake and so once again creates a great um, fish habitat for the fish and of course it gives us something to look at while we're underwater as well. Um, this is a, also a neat little thing because part of that you can actually swim through there in bars and if you're a side mount diver we can practice you know unclipping your cylinders and swimming up in through those so it makes a good little training grounds for that. Now we're going to head back over to the uh, first junction point again and I'll show you what's on the other side as well. So as we get back to the sea dew here, you'll see the three distinct lines. We went out that center line there, came back to the left side, now we're going to head down to the right side here. This is actually going to head us out to another satellite dish. It's a little bit deeper water here, um, so you're going to notice that the visibility is really you know not quite as good as what it was in the other areas but this is another great little place for side mount divers to practice swimming in and out of uh, little small areas and you know clipping and unclipping their cylinders works really good for them as well it's another great area for our spear fishermen as well because catfish have to actually sit up inside that satellite dish so it's nothing to you know shoot a two three pound catfish now we're going to head back out to the um, main training platform that we were at 
because like I said, that's kind of our center junction point for all the other objects that are out here. So I'm going to head off to the uh, south side of the platform here. You'll notice that there's two ropes. Uh, we're going to be going on the top rope, but we will kind of jump down to the bottom one just briefly here. Uh, the bottom rope actually leads over to a smaller platform that we use for navigational purposes. So during the open water course or even the navigation course, uh, divers can use the big platform to the small platform as their uh, compass headings or for their navigation run and then get a reciprocal to come back. So this is a little platform here that we just got built. Uh, works good. Um, it's just basically coke pallets is what it is. Coke plastic pallets that we made into a platform. And so we're going to jump back up to the top rope and we're going to head out to one of the newest attractions. If you follow us on Facebook and Instagram, you probably saw a small little video we did with a uh, sunken boat that just miraculously kind of appeared out of nowhere. We're not really quite sure where this vessel came from. However, it makes an awesome dive site. This dive site is really neat because for our cave divers, our cavern divers, our side mount divers, they can actually go down inside it, they can penetrate it, or even our wreck divers can penetrate it, pop up out of the hole there. Uh, so it works good for tank uh, handling or tank jungling, if you will. And so works really good for trim, buoyancy exercises, things like that. And it gives our open water divers plenty of things to look at. Uh, we haven't seen any really big fish on this vessel as it's not really been here that long, but uh, I have no doubt the catfish will make a, make a home out of it very soon. So probably one of our newest favorite spear fishing sites as well. But there you can kind of look down in there and you can see uh, all the room. Uh, that's inside that vessel. So, like I said, it works great for side mount and cavern practice, you know, if you're doing line techniques, things like that. It's pretty neat. Now, it is going to get uh, a little bit more murky later on in the dive season as boating season really kicks off in the rain season, but for right now, the visibility is not too terrible for us. But we're going to head back out to that center junction point, which is the training platform again, and we're actually going to branch off to the east side of the platform now which is headed downstream in the lake so we're going to come back up here you can see the basketball goal again like i said i, I wish people wouldn't steal our things but they do we used to have a, a bowling ball that you could shoot hoops with out there which was really neat but we're going to follow this line out this actually takes us to another junction point and this is actually if you've seen some of our older videos of my family's old home place this takes us out to the foundation of my great 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 grandfather's house and you'll start to see some wood and some foundation pieces here in just a minute there you can see it this is actually the corner of the foundation uh, and i'm not I'm not going to show you the rest of it in this video. I'm kind of leaving it a mystery. So if you want to see what uh, an old timey foundation from the late 1800s looked like, come on out and dive with us and I'll take you out on a, a little private tour of it. But that was the foundation area there. And now we're going to head back over. Uh, this actually, this bottom line actually takes us back over to that small training platform. So the big platform to the little platform over to the junction point where the foundation is, that's our triangle navigation run that we do for our navigation divers so it makes it a, a neat little uh, section to really work on your navigation skills so now we're going to head back over to the main platform uh, this is where we do pretty much 85 to 90 percent of all of our open water checkout dives and during our training we prefer that all students do their skills in a neutral buoyancy position we don't care if you're perfectly horizontally trimmed but we do want you neutrally buoyant but in the case that divers are having a little bit of difficulty due to the visibility or whatnot or their comfort level, our platform is open. It's kind of a grid pattern there, so it allows that silt to kind of drop down through it. So this is really going to help eliminate some of the bad visibility when a student does deal down for whatever reason. We also have a vertical line that comes straight off the platform here that we can do ascents, whether they're emergency ascents. And also our free divers that train here can also use that vertical line as well. So that's pretty much our platform there. There. As I head back out to the first junction point, I'm going to go ahead and remove some of the lures that get stuck in our lines. Like I said, this is a public lake. Uh, the fishermen are more than welcome to come out and fish. Uh, they have every right to be there, just like we have every right to dive there. So we try to keep these lines cleaned out the best we can, which was the purpose of this dive originally, is we we're going to go out and clean. Uh, and here, once again, I'm just getting some more of the lures out of the, out of the way. And we actually collect quite a few very expensive lures here. This 
umbrella rig that I'm getting here, you know, they're not cheap. And so, you know, it kind of helps owning a marina as well. We can resell these as used lures and stuff. So, we, can, you know, we recoup the cost of what it costs to run these lines out there. But now we're going to head back. Once I get the rest of this fishing line up and out of the way, we're going to head back to the uh, dock system where we started at and make a slow, safe ascent. One final note about this, a lot of people ask us, well, how do you do safety stops during these dives because the whole entire dives around the 20, 25 foot mark. And so the way we have our playground structured, when you're leaving the platform headed back to the dock system uh, at a normal swimming pace takes about three minutes. So if you're at that 15 to 20 foot mark for a three minute swim, you are are essentially conducting a safety stop the entire time we don't actually have to stop in one location as long as we're at that 15 to 20 minute or 15 to 20 foot or even more so a 10 to 20 foot depth then we are conducting a safety stop the entire time but guys, I hope you enjoyed this dive. If you got any questions about it, just you know, let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer it the best I can. Um, if you want to come out and have a private tour of some of our other dive sites, feel free to come on out and join us. I'll take you out for a private tour. Uh, we actually have over a hundred different dive sites here in our lake that we've documented and mapped out. Uh, what you saw in this video is nothing more than just our training grounds here. And this is where we take all our open water students, our rescue students, uh, you know, our free dive students, even our, even our dive master, assistant instructor, and instructor candidates. We take them out here because it's going to increase their skill level as well. And we believe that if you train in the worst conditions possible, it's going to make you a better diver when you're in the best conditions possible as well. So our temperature may not be up there. Our visibility may not be up there. But if you can dive here and feel comfortable, then obviously you can go anywhere in the world and dive. You guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you liked it, smash that like button for me make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business guys we really appreciate you watching our videos if you liked it make sure to give us a big thumbs up if you're not a subscriber simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications if you want to see some other cool videos make sure to click these links here they could be scuba tips they could be diving videos search and recovery videos or gear reviews once again, guys, we really appreciate it.